Hey guys, Cthulhu here, and I just wanted to take a moment to show you my favorite AEG piston. What I have today is an SHS piston. There are different versions, but I always suggest the full steel tooth rack versions. Either 14, 14 and a half, or 15 tooth. These can be modified for any build. Now most people don't realize that this piston cannot be just put right into the gearbox. There is one step that must be taken before installing this piston. You must epoxy the steel tooth rack in. These are only press fit. Myself and others have failed to do this before and then we put it into a new build and several shots later the steel tooth rack shoots right through the back of the piston. So we need to make sure to epoxy the steel tooth rack to the body of the piston. I'm also including a tooth removal tutorial. This is necessary for certain builds like the one I'm doing for the RPK I'm working on. Make sure when doing this to have eye protection. To remove what's left of the half tooth, I'm going to use my Dremel and a cutting wheel. Now remember this is steel, so there will be sparks. Now for the epoxy. I like using JB Quick Epoxy. Simple to use and it doesn't take long time to cure and is super strong. For those who haven't used epoxy, there are two parts. You mix equal parts together and have some work time to get the epoxy on to what you are working on. Then you let it cure. So we mix some black with some gray and make sure to combine them thoroughly. Next we apply the epoxy to the piston body on the tracks, the front and the back. Next we press the steel tooth rack into the body till it is flush on the front. Finally we need to do some cleanup. Make sure to remove all excess epoxy that is squeezed out, both inside and outside. And that's it. Just allow it to go through its cure time and you are good to go to install it. This epoxy takes 6 hours to cure. Sounds like a lot, but many other epoxies take 24 hours. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the SHS piston and how to apply the rack correctly. If you'd like to see other tech tutorials, please leave a comment about what you'd like me to do in the comment section below. See you in the next one.